I only intend to video one breakfast and that's it so this is it regular tomato regular tomato There's my muesli and cover fruit and this is the main dining room. Both dining rooms are open seating. The main dining room can seat the entire ship at one time. So they have room for over 200 and some people. I've been enjoying myself practicing um, my three words of Indonesian on the waiters, which is hati hati, means careful, terima kasih, hello, and sama sama, you're welcome. We're getting a big kick out of it. Isn't that beautiful, the way the tables reflect into the ceilings? I think that we have five stops on and off the bus today, and it's a real pain getting yourself settled with the water, my cameras, and everything else. First stop of the day is Thingvellir National Park, a, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The people refer to the national park as Thingva. Here is one of the talk buses. There are four. And each one leaves at a different time so as not to overcrowd each site. A footpath leads down into the Great Fault, where the tectonic plate boundaries of the Mid Atlantic Ridge and part of a fissure zone running through Iceland. The junction of the tectonic plates is more clearly visible here than anywhere else in the world. This is the fissure between the tectonic plates. Isn't that something? It's moving apart two centimeters a year. This whole valley is a tectonic plate where the Eurasian and the American plates are separating. Isn't that something? The last time I saw something like this was in the Great Rift Valley in Jordan. We come to a bridge. They built that just recently because three years ago an another part of the fault opened up underneath it. Mother Nature at her best right here. And the entire lake is glacial but completely clear because the lava filters it all. You can see why if you're coming to Iceland everybody takes this particular trip. There are very few places in the world where you can actually stand in the middle of two plates that are slowly moving apart. We don't remember how far it moved apart in 9,000 years, but if you do the math, two centimeters a year. So that side is the American plate that our continent is on. And the other side is the Eurasian plate. Showing... I don't know. What is it showing? The Icelandic people were pagans. They sent somebody to Norway to find out about laws and how to rule or what kind of democracy to have in a country. And he came back with laws. And up here is called the law speaker's spot. Once a year there would be a big convocation. Everybody would come from all over Iceland. And that's what the law council looked like. They enacted new laws, ruled on legal disputes, and made sure judgments were enforced. The law rock. Often known as the first parliament in Iceland. Yep. 
behind me, I'm going to shout because of the waterfall, is the drowning pool. So named because if a woman was convicted of adultery, they would put her in a sack, throw her body in the water here behind me, and hold the sack down with a stick until she drowned. Nice. I, you can see how nice and clear it is right here so they can make sure that there was uh, no movement in the sack. Just hold the sack down there till the poor woman was dead. And that was the law. Men shall be beheaded and women drowned uh, from the year 1281. And here's a list of women's names who were drowned.